In LFO Tools category, you can find now five different sheen tools for fabrics. They have slightly different workflow and use them in case that you are still not able to achieve result with the main sheen tool. But mostly you will need the main sheen tool only. As you can see, sheen tool contains all important parameters for good looking fabrics. Sheen type allows you to choose sheen shape to match closest as possible various types of fabrics. And as you can see, it provides result which you are not able to achieve with standard material only. Sheen falloff controls sheen type gradient and softness. For fabrics variation, you can use main and secondary color. As usual, this balance you can control with color mix noise. As you can see, we are trying to keep all our RS tools consistent so they have always very similar workflow. And color variations, controlled by noise, always provides limitless options compared to standard texture sets. And as you can see now, it allows me to create color variations or older looking parts or even fabric dirt exactly as I need. But also just very slight color variation as you can often see in real world. Sheen color intensity is in correlation with roughness range and both controls how intense is sheen effect. In case that you would like to have different color on sheen parts, use sheen color hue and saturation sliders. Bump intensity controls fabric's pattern. This pattern is created with RS Tiles node, so you have full control over pattern type, shape, size, bevel and intensity exactly as you need. If your cloth simulation also has proper UV, you do not need to use triplanar projection. So everywhere where you see triplanar node, you will know that it's replacement of UV. But in case that you have proper UV, delete triplanar node. Triplanar node is using reference projection type, which means that you suppose to choose preferred frame where you will apply and tweak textures parameters. Also, blend amount can be very helpful with smoother looking pattern transitions. For some type of simulation can be useful, pin material tag. But as I mentioned already, in case that your simulation contains proper UV, you do not need to be worried about these additional steps. Sheen tool contains also extra section where you can control additional sheen effect for special type of fabrics. Low contribution of sheen extra intensity allows you to create metallic, silk, or satin finish. This type of material is anisotropic, so you have control over sheen extra anisotropy and extra falloff as well.